catch up with, with two players, very exciting uh, young talents in the world of South African cricket. So when I introduce this gentleman, please start the clapping, start the screaming, start the cheering. I know the one is struggling to log in. We've had all the technical demons we could have had in this seminar, so don't even stress. We'll get him on the call either way. So first up, ladies and gentlemen, um, a semi-pro player uh, turning up for Eastern Province, also a SA under 19 lad. He repped it over there. Your hands and mine for Tian van Fieden. There we go. Thank you, Tian. You can log on as I introduce uh, one of your, your teammates and uh, colleagues. And then we've also got um, a, um, a, a newbie to the Warriors system. A newbie to the Warriors system. He joined them from the Knights uh, this season. Your hands and mine. He's struggling to log on. We hope he's with us. Tepun Tuli. Lovely stuff. Let's see if uh, Tepu's with us. Okay, beautiful. And let's see if Tian is, is with us. Okay, once I can see them and hear them. I can hear someone trying to log on. Thailand, are you there? I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Yeah. Is that Tia? Yeah, Tsep, no, Tsep, yeah. yeah. Tsep, how are you, brother? You well? Good, thanks. How are you, Dalen? Lekker. Good to see you, man. <laughs> Always meeting up with uh, the KFC's thingamabobs, yeah, but good to see you as well. <laughs> <laughs> You're all over the place. You're all over the place. I'm glad you logged on. You look very happy. I love that you are this happy during lockdown, man. What's up with all this beautiful, positive energy? Listen, it's probably the ocean breeze, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know we used to the heat and the and the dryness. So yes, there's a bit of yes. breeze here in the in the Eastern Cape. But yeah, thanks for having me, Dalen, man. No, no stress, brother. Good to see you again. Loving your warm personality. It's always very, very good to catch up with you. Um, while we're on that, um, move from the Knights to the Warriors. Before we get into any cricket aspects, just must be good to be near the ocean and near. A bit of uh, a bit more scenery than uh, up in Kimberley and Bloemfontein. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that again, but uh, home is home, mate. Eh? <laughs> home is yeah. home. But yeah, yeah. Um, I'm actually loving PE so far, so good. And um, the people over here, they don't call it the friendly city for nothing. So yeah. I'm actually loving the people, the environment, the scenery as well. Uh, like I said, I'm not actually used to waking up and seeing the, the ocean. Yes, um, I'm used seeing to I'm used to seeing the dam rather. <laughs> but yeah, so far, I actually I'm enjoying every single moment. Um, but unfortunately, I haven't been doing much uh, simply because of the pandemic, and uh, yeah. yeah, trying to keep safe. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Uh, Tepo, I'm gonna jump back to you now. Tian, if you are live, feel free to jump onto the call at any time. So I'm gonna keep uh, chatting. Okay, there. Okay. I'm I hear. Um, I Whoa, Tian's got a very deep voice. Tian's voice broke at 12. Tian's got a very, very deep voice. Tian, are you there? Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. No, no, don't stress, don't stress, don't stress. All the technical demons have popped up to PE for some reason. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, my goodness. So when you can, Tian, you can turn on your video. The fans want to see what you look like. It's very important. So they can take a screenshot and um, or Instagram. Yeah. Um, yeah, on my side, the video is on. It doesn't seem like it's showing okay. on your side. There. Here we go. You live, brother. Yeah, okay, cool. Magic. Okay, cool. Are yeah. you doing good? No, always good. Um, just super stoked to, to be back on the on the cookie ground. So, yeah. Yeah. Lovely stuff. Okay, so I'm going to jump in between the two of you, uh, Tian and Seppo. Um, Tian, from your side, how's things been going, man? You said you're back on the cricket field. Are you training? Are you managing to stay sane? Oh, yeah, no, look. Um, Did you hear me? Oh no, uh, the wind's bad, yeah, so my signal is, is very horrible. No I stress. Do anything at all there. We'll be patient, we'll be patient. I just want to find out how's things going now that you can start training again and slowly but surely get back to action. Um, <laughs> no, can you just repeat that one more time, please? No stress, buddy. How's things going now that you're back at training, coping with the new normal? Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, yeah do me a favor. I, I can't do favor. Yeah. No stress. If you can log off and then log back on, I'll, I'll speak to Sarah for so long, but maybe log on and then log back off. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Okay, cool. Okay, lovely stuff. Cool. Tepo, you still with me? You a soldier here, bro? Taylor? I'm you a soldier, are, brother, man. You are a soldier. You are a soldier. Okay. <laughs> Tepo and Tuli. Who is Tepo and Tuli? People see you play, they see your stats, but we don't know a lot about who you are and the journey that you've had, the beautiful one to becoming a professional contracted player. Childhood dreams of being loved. Where did it all start, my man? Well, Dylan, uh, Tepun Tuli is a boy from Kimberley. Um, a 24-year-old Kimberley lighty. Um, yeah, uh, so it actually started back in, oof, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, Kimberley guy actually played for a few years, then uh, went to Bloemfontein, uh, tried to pursue my studies. <laughs> But you know, as cricketers, we never get that right <laughs> because we, we actually do love the game. And uh, so I tried playing for the Free State and yeah, ever since there, things actually went well for me, God willingly. But yeah, I'm actually loving each and every single moment of standing in the sun and chasing the little red nut. Lovely. That's what it's all about, brother, the passion and eating balls and spending hours in the middle that, that no one sees. And then, Definitely. as a as a, as a junior cricketer, did it start at, at primary school uh, with hardball initially? Did you play a bit of mini cricket? Or what happened? Oh, funny enough, uh, Dalen, no one actually knows. So I come from the hood. So my neighbour and I, uh, so you know, there's a fence, you know, between houses. So my neighbour and I used to play against each other. So I was the spinner back in the day. So. I will use my fence as as a a reference for for drop, you know, as a spinner. Yeah. So, so I use that as a, a reference for me, you know, bowling over the fence so that it can actually get the drop and the extra revs, you know, beating through the gate. But yeah, uh, it started there, uh, obviously playing with a tennis ball, and then um, yeah, went to primary school, started playing mini yeah mini cricket, softball it was. And I was actually a batter back in the day and not a spinner. But <laughs> ever since then, <laughs> but every, every cricketer does have actually a story to tell, but that's my, my short story so far. Lovely stuff. And, and when, you, when you made that realization of, okay, cool, this is what I want to specialize in, moving from primary school into high school and, and, and through the provincial system, when did you get your first nod to say, okay, cool, my skill set, potentially has the ability to let me be a professional one day? Well, Dylan, to be honest, I didn't actually want to study. I'm not going to shy away from that. I always wanted to be a professional cricketer because of I grew up watching players like uh, Tandy Chabalala. Uh, your, you know, he was a spinner and I always looked up to him because of yeah. he played South Africa, you know, I don't think you saw them. So that actually gave me that drive, you know, to... Because those guys, let's be honest, they also come from a, you know, a decent background. And uh, that also just gave me that extra push to say, listen, as long as you put in the hard work, you'll, you'll, you'll achieve whatever you want to achieve, you understand? Because impossible mm -hmm. is nothing. So ever since then, um, when I was in grade eight, I made that decision. I, I know it was quite young, I was quite young, but uh, I made that decision. Uh, and I said, you know what, I'm just going to drift through my grades. <laughs> I'm just going to drift through my grades. And as long as I get my 50%, I'll be happy. <laughs> and uh, ever since then, yeah. And here I am today, God willingly. Um, so I'm a pro cricketer. And uh, obviously, I do still have ambitions to playing for, for my country one day. And uh, but. This is a great stepping stone and opportunity for me to achieve that those goals of mine. Lovely stuff. I love that that journey and that story so far, Tepo. Just we're gonna jump back into you now. I just wanna see if Tian is anywhere near us. Tian, are you near us, bro? Are you are you online? Tian's there. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Tian. Tian, how's it better? Is it better? Yeah, hopefully. We'll see how it goes. I can hear you clearly. If, okay, if, the, cool. 
If the video is bad, we can just do audio. Okay. Um, it should be. No, I can see you. You're winning, You're winning yeah, brother. Cool. No, what you did. Yeah. Stand still for the next 10, 15 minutes. You must stand still. <laughs> cool. <laughs> and, and Tian, with you, we're just chatting about the journeys with, with the KC Mini Cricket Program. We're very fascinated with where things started with players because often we don't know. We see you scoring runs. We see you taking wickets. We see you doing amazing things in the field, players from all different backgrounds in life. But who is Tian van Fieden? Who is this exciting young talent? Yeah, no. Um... Look, I mean, cricket's always been like a a, a driving um, type of passion for me. Um, just either playing it as a as a, a casual game or on the field, it's always enjoyable. So, I mean, passion started from from a young age, just at school. Um, you see me every morning uh, with the bat and ball. So, I mean, yeah, it's it's constantly it's constantly been there all the time. Okay, lovely stuff. Um, we, 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 we've got questions that we've lined up from uh, the KFC Mini Cricket coaches and coordinators of uh, Eastern Province. They wanted to make it a bit more personal. So for both of you, Tian, you can go first up since you, you just joined us. Um, who's had the greatest influence on your, on your cricketing career so far? Straight into the deep end. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, um, by far, um, I would say um, a lot of the EP coaches have um, contributed a lot, but mm. I would say um, Coach Dupi uh, regarding the, the the batting, and then also um, Coach Pitts and um, uh, some of the SA coaches um, regarding my bowling. So um, I, I feel they have really um, stepped up my game um, from from where it was. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. And then from your side, uh, Teppo? Um, Dalen, it's, it's actually quite interesting because I wouldn't say a lot of coaches, but not taking anything away from the coaches who actually assisted me. Uh, but a lot of players actually influenced uh, where I am. Uh, your Dane, your Dane Beats, your, your best bomber, <laughs> if I can say. Uh, but your Dane Peets, your, your Robbie Pees, I actually played with him and he's my current coach. And uh, not forgetting Hilton Moreng and Werner Kutia. I mean, those are the guys who actually uh, played a massive role in my, my cricketing career so far. And uh, I believe there's still a lot of coaches who are going to come across. But, but so far, those are the four main main coaches and players who actually contributed a lot. Okay, lovely stuff. And then, and then jumping back to you, Tian, um, career highlights so far, those moments that stand out that have really been ones where you go, it's been worth it. This journey has been really good and this is the rewards of all the hard work. Yeah. No, um, I definitely feel um, there's kind of three that stand out for me right now at the moment. Um, kind of just the whole um, intro, like being introduced to the to the semi-pro side last, like mm -hmm. doing my trick. Um, that was really a, like a, a wow moment for me. Um, and as well as Coke Week, um, being like the, the champs there was a, a, a tough progress, but getting there was, was also amazing. And also like, I think the biggest one for me was the, was the World Cup. Um, you know, being in that setup, um, playing amongst international uh, youngsters, it was, yeah, definitely uh, something to look back on. Tian, I feel like I'm more excited for you when we speak about your uh, first class debut or your semi-pro debut as a, as a matric student going to the World Cup for South Africa. Those are big things, bro. You were playing on TV while your friends were writing exams, okay? So, uh, what, what was that like? And I want to hear from both sides, the, the, the semi-pro and then the World Cup. And donning mm -hmm. South African colors, man, just singing that national anthem and knowing that you're representing a couple of million people back home. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll get to the World Cups um, part now. But just starting off with the semi-pro, um, I feel that was a yeah, that was a I don't know, it's an indescribable feeling um, being spotted, um, still in a trick, um, playing um, high school games. Um, but uh, sure, the nerves was was was, was up there. Um, but playing amongst um, players that are now playing in franchise. Um, and some also playing uh, international games now, um, 
looking back, um, yeah, I don't know, it was just, it was unbelievable. Um, I'm just glad I could at least get one wicket on my debut, so um, I'm stoked for that. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Yep, that's that's in the history books, brother. That will not go yeah. away on record. Yeah. And then, then with the World Cup? Um, yeah, no, look, um, that is a whole different experience um, on its own. Um, obviously, um, the whole uh, televised games, um, but as well as the crowd that came out, um, I think that made my World Cup for me. Um, having the support, um, singing the national anthems, I still get goosebumps thinking back of it. Um, yeah, kind of getting a bit emotional um, like yes. during the, the scene, but um, yeah, no, it was just like, it was awesome um, to be able to represent my country, um, still around the 19 level. Um, but yeah, no, it, was, it was definitely a, a hard fought battle there. So yeah, mm. no, it's, it's awesome, awesome memories. The start of a beautiful journey and greater things to come, brother. So much more excitement yeah. left in your in your career. And then let's just shift over to uh, Tepo. Tepo, from your side, also still very young, 24. Take us back to your first, uh, to your debut, bro. I don't know if it was first class cricket when you started or semi-pro. I know they changed the name over the past uh, couple. So uh, yeah. what, what, what was that like, dude? Dylan, uh, actually, my, my semi-pro or, yeah, first, yeah, semi-pro. Uh, it was against EP, and I got actually a five, and Nicky Mboye was still my my coach. So that's uh, a thing that I can never actually forget. And uh, professionally, making my debut at the age of 19, a T20 debut, and it was called, it was still called Ram Slam, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Um, I had to play against your your Andrew Patiks, your Justin Hontongs at the age of 19. That's wow. uh that's a, a memory I'll never actually take, uh, no one can actually take away from me. And, uh, you know, just making, taking wickets for, or professionally, you understand, and contributing to team victories, um, that also is also one of the memories that actually stand out or stood out for me. And not forgetting that one year when the Knights actually won the, the, the four-day competition, that was that was something something special because of the hard yards, the the, the hours that was spent, yeah. um, you know, training, gym, fitness. You know, we actually I went home literally fatigued each and every single day, <laughs> you know. So those those moments when they or oh, that moment when it came, it was oh something else. I don't want to lie. Beautiful, man. I love the fact that both of you are still so young, still very exciting talents. And I can see the, the happiness with which you reflect on, on your, um, your short but exciting career because you know there's, there's more in store. And then, uh, Tepa, I want to stay with you. Coming in as a 19-year-old, playing, playing in a professional setup, uh, you mentioned Antong and, and Patik. Those are experienced campaigners. You mentioned Chabalala, experienced campaigner Boyer, also experienced campaigner being a youngster in that senior environment, what was it like and how much did you have to change your maturity levels and just learn how to listen more, but also to respond and stand your ground? Listen, uh, Dalen, I just felt like I'm dreaming, to be honest. <laughs> because let's be honest, those guys, they played international cricket, first of all, and these guys are like the age of 27, and that time I'm only 19. Uh, but coming from my end, it was also respecting um, not stepping on anyone's toes, just knowing my spot and, you know, just trying to sponge each and every single thing they, they mention or they give out because of they've played around, you know, they've been around. Um, so as a youngster, listening and taking in and actually re reacting to whatever they actually say, it was actually a big thing for me. You know, it's not each and every, it's not everyone who actually walks into a changing room and sit and have water while the other guys are having, you know, nice things. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and just listening and being in your bubble and just loving the moment because, yo, I don't want to lie, Dale, and it's, it's something special and I still get goosebumps up to this day because not everyone has or have that opportunity to sit, to sit with the hunters, you know, and mm -hmm. we all know the stats that the guy actually, yeah. you know. So it was it was a dream. I don't want to lie. It was a dream, and still feels like a dream. 
when I sit next to Tembas or play against him, but I don't think he's so because of these guys have been through a whole lot of things, you know. Mm. So I'm just learning. I'm still young, like you mentioned. I'm still learning my trade. I'm still trying to sponge in a whole lot of things. And uh, as long as it actually makes me a better human being and makes me mature, uh, I'll, I'll take it, you know, and uh, put it to heart. Lovely stuff. Love it, love it, love it, Tepo. And then, uh, Tian, let's just move back to you. Also very, very young, but you're playing in a space where there are experienced campaigners. Who's, who's been the, um, you can name a few players if you like, a couple of players that you managed to play against or uh, share the dressing room with that you've uh, watched while growing up or even coaches that you've worked with, you know, you, you looked up in, in a space of admiration and now you, you're walking the same path as them. Yeah, no, um, I think the one was um, no, definitely best share waters. Um, I still remember like chilling on the side of the field, um, watching him play, taking so many records from the, um, and yeah, you know, just now being able to 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 share the field, to share the dressing room, to feed off like his like experience. Mm. Um, he's definitely the one. And then also now currently um, with um, Robbie P. Um, I mean, I always see him in the Caribbean Premier Leagues. Um, commentating um, everywhere, so I always saw him as a um, a role model, um, like a very uh, prestigious um, person. Um, and now to also sometimes um, join them on that side for practice, or and just to feed off of him and to be in like in the the team's presence, um, it's it's unbelievable. And also like a funny thing, um, also with Andrew Birch. Um, yeah. I mean, like you know, I can still a little kid. Like watching him a bowl was like amazing, um, and then also later sharing the nets, um, also getting some some knowledge off of him, um, which was, was was brilliant. Those are three uh, veterans of uh, SA cricket that you mentioned there, and geez, you oh, can yeah. learn so much. Lots of matches, lots of wickets between all of them, and a, a reverse six, a, a, a switch hit or two between Robbie P. And I think uh, Bertie going over cow corner. Maybe Bashir. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I think we're going we're gonna to wrap it up, James. I'd love to pick your brain and chat to you all day, but um, we can't do that now. We'll do it in future, I promise, right? Uh, but Tian, there's a question here from Lita saying, um, after ripping SA and 19 in the World Cup, what advice do you give to the youngsters who want to reach similar heights? The tough question. Um... Personally, I think just to to keep training hard. Um, but but in saying that is what I mean. It's yeah. Um, Take your time. Don't worry. Um, what they taught us in the on the 19 setup is is perfect practice. Um, so constantly working on something in order to um, improve it. But in such a environment where you are actually growing. Um, it's no point of um, practicing in an environment where you're not under pressure or you, you're not being tested. Um, so I think that's one one of the things um, that I would I would say to to the um, youngsters growing up um, is just to 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 keep on on working hard um, and not letting other people outwork you. Um, so yeah, I guess that's. It's kind of stuck in my head right now. And just enjoy yeah. the game. I mean, beautiful. Um, yeah, like I mean, I never really understood the the concept of enjoying the game. Um, I always thought it was like a happy dappy type of thing, um, and not having challenges in the game. Um, but learning now this year, um, being in the new setup, um, it's, it's enjoying the challenges as well. Um, yes. So yeah, that's part of enjoying it. Beautiful points, brother. Enjoy the game. Perfect practice. Big, big fan of that. And a new testament to the hard work, you know. Uh, we're going to jump back to you shortly, Tian. Uh, from your side, uh, Tepo, your advice to the the younger generation, the ones coming through the system now, who are knocking on the door. Well, one thing that I still go with is keep working hard. Uh, Tian mentioned it. But uh, the main thing that actually sticks out for me is keep believing. You know, if you don't believe, you're not going to achieve what you want to achieve, you know. 
So keep working hard, keep believing, keep doing the right things and looking after yourself. You know, that's that's also major. I mean, as youngsters, we know we can actually fade away quickly. Um, and, but keep believing, keep working hard and uh, yeah, enjoy the game as well. This this fun. You know, this this beautiful game is actually fun. It's nice, you know, uh, sunscreen and all. So, um, yeah, that's that's my five cent, Dalen. Love it, love it. Remember, guys, you inspire us even if you think you don't inspire us. There's a lot of youngsters playing club cricket, school cricket, running in saying, hey, I'm Tepun Tuli. Hey, I'm a young T and Panfir. And you guys must always remember that. Eh? And then as we, as, as we wrap it up, this is always a tough one. But you've worked with numerous coaches over the years. You, you know the value of coaches. You know the assistance they give you in spaces on and off the field. Um, first up with you, Atsepo. Any any words of encouragement um, to our KFC Mini Cricket coaches and, and coordinators? Oh, yeah, no, that's actually an interesting question, Dale, and I don't want to lie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's actually a tricky one. But, coaches, I'm going to actually ask you guys to actually do one thing, you know, and uh, or a few things rather. Uh, respect actually goes a, a long mile, you know, having that relationship, respect uh, amongst players and yourself uh, and uh, just knowing what's happening with with the kid that you're busy coaching because of some kids are actually they lost and yet again we go or they come to practice and you actually come so hard at them mm. and uh, you're not knowing their situation at home or what they're actually doing so that's my main main thing i mean jeff also mentioned it now the other day in one of the articles so that's one and number two keep believing keep throwing keep uh, telling those young kids keep motivating them listen you're gonna get there you're gonna get there keep doing the right things i know sometimes uh we get despondent because i, I know i also coach every now and then but uh if a kid sees you being despondent towards his reactions or her reactions, that kid is not going to go home happy. So uh, keep having, keep instilling that, that, that uh, listen, it's fine to make mistakes, uh, but tomorrow we come back stronger. I mean, a young kid, even I, I, I still have massive respect for coaches who've done that, and they actually played a massive role in my career. Even now, Robbie P is playing a massive career in my career. I mean, yeah. He's playing a massive role in my career so far. So uh, keep doing that. Keep ticking the right boxes. And best believe, as soon as that kid walks off the field, I tell you, you're going to actually say, you know what, I've worked with that kid. And that's probably the best feeling ever as a coach. So keep believing, keep motivating, and keep respecting. Thanks, Dalen. And thank Lovely you, everyone, everyone, for having me. Lovely stuff. Don't leave it, Sepo. Don't leave it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. If you want to use your daughter, you must stay. We want to use your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Wait there. We, like, we like seeing you. We know you're important. You must stay over that. <laughs> but well said. Well said. We appreciate your sentiments, right? And then from your side, Tian, just a message to the coaches and coordinators. Um, I think just because, um, I mean, growing up, um, all the all the coaches where I started off at a young age, um, they kind of um, not made me love the game, but um, yeah, I started loving the game once they started, um, mm. you know, um, like giving off their advice and just making the environment um, enjoyable. Uh, I mean, I can remember so many times of having fun um, in the nets or on the field. Um, so I, I think that also goes a big uh, a big way. Um, just always making it, it fun for the kids. Uh, like Tipo uh, said, um, you don't really know what's happening in their life, so maybe it's just a, a breakaway for them. Um, and then also another thing is just um, keep asking questions. Um, sometimes it is good to to keep um, uh, giving off information to the uh, to the players, but also sometimes to ask questions and to make them think. Um, and sometimes view their um, view their way of, of, of playing the game. So, yeah. Love it. Tian, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I know you, you're a gentle giant. You, you fast bowlers are very 
quiet, relaxed people until you get the ball in your hand and you start bumping them and knocking them over. And we like that. We like that. The opposites. Okay, so that's beautiful. Spinners like tempo, busy, bubbly. And we like that because they're in your face all the time. So, Tian and Tsepo, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Good luck with the season. Exciting young talents of uh, South African cricket. and.